Hey guys, I'm back with a new video tutorial. It's a mixed media layout. The pattern paper that I'm using is cottage lace paper pack from Little Birdie. I'm distressing my papers with scissors. While distressing, do take care that you don't damage your paper. But if you do, do not worry as it's a part of distressing process. It gives a beautiful look to your project. I'm going to distress from all the four sides of my now i'm going to use a soft matte gel from little birdie it's a new release and it gives a beautiful matte effect to your projects for working with colors and embellishments i'm going to seal up my area where i need to work on i'm not going to use it on all over my paper but but just on an area where i need to use colors before going with another layer i would, would like to hit to it and make sure that every layer of matte gel is being dried up for my background i'm going to use a berry blast color splash from little birdie i'm just going to spray it here and there and going to blend it with some water as i don't need much of color so i'm going to remove some of the color from my background with the help of tissue paper i'm just going to tap it so that I, uh, the excess colors come out and here i'm spraying some more just to give a color effect to my background before going to the another layer you should make sure that it's dry before working on the upper layer of mixed media layout i'm going to use some stencils i'm going to use a chalk paint it's a black chalk paint by little birdie i'm going to use it in a very less amount i'm going to add some uh, sand texture it's a new release by little birdie and i'm mixing it up with my regular paint brush i'm using here a stencil that is from craft red it's a leaf stencil it has some small flowers also that gives a beautiful effect to your background i'm just applying a chalk paint in a very rough uh, manner i'm not using any a tool or a polite knife for stenciling i'm just tapping the paint with my paint brush as i don't want it to be very perfect i just want it to be very uneven uh, so it gives a beautiful effect when you tap with the paint brush here are some scrap papers from my stash i have pre-distressed them with my scissors just to give a beautiful effect to my papers and those works better with my layout i'm just arranging some embellishments like die cuts and some frames flowers just to be sure that how it's going to be in spite of uh, sticking them with the uh, regular glue i'm going to use my hit to hit gun and it gives 3d 3d dimensions to your project First of all, I have used uh, die cuts from, some are from Little Birdie, some are from, uh, I think it's the, the frame, vintage frame is from all of my favorite things. All these die cuts are from different, different brands. I'm just arranging them in a way I pre-decided and die cuts I'm going to adhesive with my tacky glue. It will be a great option to do with them. Here are some fabric flowers I'm using from my stash and I'm just deciding where should I put that butterfly. Okay, here are some more die cuts. These are leaf die cuts. I'm going to use them but in a very unique way. I'm going to spray them with my sprays. The spray prints are again from the little birdie. It's an alcohol spray that I have used here and some color splash too. Make sure before you adhesive your uh, die cuts that they are completely dry as we have used them with uh, color sprays. Here is a final layout I'm going to complete. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned it. Let me know in the comment section and do share it with your friends and we'll be back with a new video tutorial soon. And don't forget to give a big fat thumbs up to, on my video and do subscribe to my channel before leaving. Thank you.